There is a plot to oust Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. Well, now he knows how it feels, doesn't he? His Immigration Minister Robert Jemrick went 11 Spartans voted against the Rwanda plan. It's rumoured that Conservative Party donors funded polling, which showed how badly Rishi Sunak would do at a general election. They also funded polling showing how, if they got rid of him and replaced him with a leader that showed true Conservative values, then the Tories would beat Keir Starmer. That was accompanied by an article by Lord Frost, who is refusing to reveal who funded that polling. Then Sir Simon Case openly called for Rishi to go. Then Rishi's pollster and special adviser went, saying that Mr Sunak is going to get battered and that Nigel Farage, if he comes back, will wipe the Tories off the face of the earth before Christmas. Then, yesterday, we revealed a plan to replace Mr Sunak with Penny Mordaunt and to promise a general election within 100 days of her coming to office. Well, now, today, there's an article revealing that most Tory MPs openly think that the Prime Minister can't win. I spoke to a source who said that the next few weeks are going to be a slow drip, 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 and that Mr Sunak's premiership could succumb to a slow death akin to Chinese water torture. The plan to get rid of Rishi Sunak is real, and it is happening as we speak. Does he deserve this, though? Is this karma for what happened to Boris Johnson and the role he allegedly played in that? It's worth reminding ourselves of what the last opinion poll was before Mr Sunak resigned as Chancellor to Boris Johnson. So there we go. So the Tories were three points behind Labour. They were three points behind them. Now they're around 25 points behind. Clearly, ousting Boris Johnson, who the public did vote for, then ousting Liz Truss, who the party members voted for, and replacing her with someone that not even the MPs truly voted for, has been catastrophic. Rishi Sunak had a massive role to play in all of that. Is the Prime Minister now actually, really, just suffering the fate that he deserves. Is it any shock that his colleagues took the knife that Mr Sunak stuck into Boris's back, wiped the blood off it, and then shoved it straight into his?